Hello friends. Welcome to Knowledge Quotient. Today we are going to create a calculator in scratch. In this project, we will be creating a simple four function calculator. These four functions are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Furthermore, these kinds of calculators will typically include a number pad with the values 0 through 9. Before begins, kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for further updates. Let us begin now. In the first part, we will design our calculator. We will design frame of the calculator in the backdrop section and each number with operators as the sprites. Sprites are objects that are used to run scripts and perform actions based on the result from those scripts. The Paint Editor is Scratch's built-in image editor. Many scratchers create their sprites and backdrops using it. These images can be used in many ways, each having its impact on its project. This is one of the features that makes Scratch different from many other programming tools because many others do not provide a built-in image creator. Now, let us create numbers from 0 to 9, 4 operators that are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division with equal to sign, and one clear button in the sprite section. After design one sprite, you can duplicate the rest and change the text, color according to your choice. Scratch has two drawing modes vector and bitmap. Both drawing modes allow you to create artwork, but each serves a different purpose. In this project, we have used the vector drawing mode. For operators, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, equal to, and clear button I have changed text color and button color so that it will give a more attractive appearance.
It is a good practice, we should give a proper name to each stripe. It will help us in the coding section to distinguish from other stripes. Here we need to create three variables that are, num1, num2, and output. Variables, allow us to store information in the form of either strings or numbers. This program works with three variables, num1 to store the first number entered, num2 to store the second number entered, output to store the result of any calculations. When you make these variables, they need to be for all sprites. Let us begin with the number 0. So when we will click on 0, if the output is null then set the output variable to 0. So according to the logic, drag the if else conditional block and set the output block from the variable section. Same code we need for rest numbers, the only difference is set the output variables according to respective numbers that mean for number 2 output value will be 2, for number 3, output variable will be 3, etc. In addition, this script stores the first num in num1 clears the output so the user can enter the second number and it broadcasts a message to the equals sprite.
Execute the program once to check, entered number is noticeable or not. If it is working fine, then we can copy the same code to subtraction, multiplication, and division. We need to change the sign of the operator and create a new broadcast message according to the operators. Now we will work on for equal to part. At first, when the equals sprite is clicked, the second num is stored into num2 variable and the below is executed. When the broadcast were eat to num2 plus received, this script waits until num2 is not null, that is the user entered the number.
When C is clicked, the script clears the variables and stores them in each null. For the broadcast message were ito num 2 minus, were ito num 2 mool, were ito num 2 div, will work on same code, only need to change the operator. In the end, we need to create my block ready for to next calculation. Blocks are essentially small pieces of code that are combined to form something bigger. They are like jigsaw puzzles that come together to form a script. Several types of blocks can be used to send slash receive events, commands, values, boolean, etc. The main purpose of creating my blocks is to set all the variables to null and after one calculation, get ready for the next. Thank you.
when all coding will be done, let us execute the calculator and check the result.